Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be starting a new lecture series on class 9th topics, right? So I hope you guys are very familiar with the term cell, right? So this will be our first chapter for biology for class 9th that we will be starting in today's video, right? Okay, so let's get started by with our first the name of the chapter. What is the name of the chapter? The fundamental unit of life which is cell. Right. So what is the meaning of fundamental unit of life? Fundamental means very very important which is playing a major role without which nothing will be possible. Right. That is the fundamental unit of life. For example, if you are baking something, if you are making a house, right. For example, if you are baking a cake, right. What are the major ingredients for the cake? If you don't have your flour, right. What will you do with? Nothing can happen, right? Without flour, without flavoring agents, your cake will not be made. It will not be very tasty, right? In a similar manner, if you are making a house, if you are constructing a house, you don't have bricks, right? You don't have bricks to make a pakka house. Then what will happen? Obviously, the house will not be formed. So, brick will be a fundamental unit for a house. In a similar manner, beta, cell is the fundamental unit for our body, right? Why? Because Without cell, nothing will be possible. Cell is also known as, if anyone is asking you what is the definition of cell, how will you explain what a cell is? So you will say the structural and the functional unit of living organism is called as cell. Fine, I am writing it here. What is a cell beta? The structural and the functional unit the structural and the functional unit of living organisms is called as cell. Okay. Now, you will ask again ma'am, what is the meaning of the structural and functional unit? So, better two meanings are there. Structural and functional. Structural ka matlab kya hota hai? What is the meaning of the term structural? Structural means it is giving a structure. It is giving a shape. Okay, so cell only is responsible for the shape of your body, right? So cell is also playing a structural role as well as a functional role. Structural role kya hota hai beta cell ka? Structural role means it is helping in the structural formation of your body, right? For example, what happens? This is one cell, okay? Two cell, th third cell, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, like in a similar manner beta, these cells, they are coming up together and they are leading to a formation of structure. That is the reason. Without the cells, if cells are not together, if cells are not coming together, then how will the structure be formed? No structure is possible. Okay. So, that is the reason cell is known as structural unit. Also functional unit. Why? Because cell is only responsible for performing functions. Okay, for example, in your body, digestion is also happening, respiration is happening, excretion is happening, reproduction is happening, so many functions are happening in your body, right? If so many functions are happening in the body, but who is responsible for these functions? Who is doing these functions? It is the cell. That is the reason cell is known as structural as well as the functional unit of our living organisms. Okay, easy, simple. Now let's move to the next part. Okay, so why the cell is known as structural functional unit? I have explained it to you. Okay, now beta, cell is a microscopic structure. Cell is a microscopic structure. That means it can only be seen with the help of a microscope. Okay, if you try and see the cells beta with your naked eyes, you will not be able to see it. So, it is not visible through naked eyes. Okay. Naked eyes means with your bare eyes, you cannot see it. You either need a microscope to see or a magnifying glass. Right. So, microscopic structures are these cells. Right. You cannot see them with your naked eyes. Right. So, like I have given you the example of house is made up of bricks in the similar manner beta our body or you can say plants and animals they all need cells for the formation of their body. In the similar manner if I need this in, in this room. Okay. So there is a board and behind this board there is a wall. 
right so who is responsible for this wall right the person is building the wall but with the help of what he is building the wall he is using bricks he is uh, uh, you know uh, putting up cement in between the bricks and piling it up all together and leading to the formation of wall one wall is formed one wall is formed here one wall is formed here and then another wall is formed here and on the top also another wall is formed so what is this happening this is leading to the formation of a house okay or a room right in the similar manner our body also needs cells for the formation for the structure also and for uh, for the function also okay now let's come to who discovered cell who is the person responsible for discovering cell so it was robert hook okay in 1665 the years are very very important make sure you are learning the years also you have done this in class 8 also so no need to worry it may exactly same cheez hoti beta right but this part is a bit more detailed as compared to the class 8 part right obviously in class 9 so some parts will be detailed right you cannot just copy paste the exact same chapter right okay so robert hook discovered what cell kahan pe beta he said that from a tree trunk or you can see the tree's bark he took a portion right the brown portion of the tree he took a portion and called it as a cork okay so he observed that cork and what did he see he saw that there were structures like this there were honeycomb like structures honeycomb like structures which he observed so what did he say he he said that there are cells present which are grouped together and they are forming a room okay this is a entire empty space inside it so he called it as a room so basically robert hook said that in 1665 he was observing a cork right which is basically a plant cell taken from the bark of the tree fine now when he took that he observed it under the primitive microscope okay and then he saw honeycomb like structures and he called them cell right there was another scientist now tell me which scientist i am going to talk about he was anton von leeuwenhoek okay a v leeuwenhoek also you can write anton von leeuwen h o e k anton von leeuwenhoek beta he discovered the living cells you can say the moving cell in the pond he discovered moving cell in pond Okay, Anton von Leeuwenhoek discovered beta the moving cells in a pond in 1670. Fine, in 1670. Then beta another theory came up. There was another theory which was there. What was the theory? That theory was called as the beta cell theory. Okay, so that theory was called as cell theory. and cell theory was given by schleiden and schwann cell theory okay it was given by schleiden and schwann please make sure you are writing the correct spellings okay schleiden and schwann who gave the cell theory fine they gave the cell theory beta in 1839 in 1839 now what was the cell theory so cell theory had three points first point that all the living organisms they are made up of cells okay second point i'm writing the points here all living organisms all living organisms are made up of cells are made up of are made up of cells then cell is the structural and functional unit of life okay this is the second point and the last point which i will be all the cells all the cells exist or you can say are made through the pre existing cells pre existing 
cells. All the cells are made through are made through the pre-existing cell. So this is the cell theory. First point, all living organisms are made up of cells. Second point, cell is a structural functional unit of living organisms. Alive, all the cells are made through the pre-existing cells. So this theory was given by Schleiden and Schwann in 1839. Fine. Now, beta, there is a variety of cells. There is a huge diversity of cells. Okay. So, the diversity of cells is depending upon their shape, their size, their functions. Okay. So, in our body, beta, there are different, different types of cells. Muscle cell, blood cell, egg, sperm, okay, and bone cell. All these are different, different cells. Their shape is also different. Their sizes are also different and their functions are obviously very different. Okay, so like blood cell is only present in our circulatory system, right, which is present in our entire body, and these blood cells are responsible for the taking in of oxygen and pumping it through all the bodies. The heart is doing that with the help of these RBCs, right? This you have studied, right? For example, the muscle cells are present in your muscular system. The blood cells are present in your circulatory system, right? And your ovum, sperm, these are all present in your reproductive systems, okay? So, they are performing their own functions, fine? Now, in the next video, beta, we will be moving forward to the different types of cells, unicellular cell and multicellular cell on the basis of their number, right? I am not discussing that in this video. We will be putting up a separate video for that, right? So, stay tuned. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. In the next video, I will be moving forward with the next topic that is the number of, basically the number of cells on the basis of the number of cells, how are they divided, right? Unicellular, multicellular, eukaryotes, prokaryotes, plant cell, animal cell. We will do these differentiation features in the next video, fine? So I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always click the like button after seeing the video. Right? So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.